So, here's the deal. I really like the internet, and YouTube, and other such internet-y things like forums, and chat rooms, and um, things like that, you know? Uh, I'm actually going to try and set my watch for uh, five minutes so that I can not overstay my welcome. didn't work. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I have a lot of stuff that I want to like splurge out onto the internet and I feel like I have the capacity to do so, but at this point I don't have a computer. Uh, I'm recording with my phone. I don't have like a proper camera. I don't have any recording software. And I mean, I have all my ideas and stuff, like, written down, but I don't have any, like, way to do it. Like, I want to do a series on, like, hair styles for men. Speaking of which, sorry, guys. It happened. I'll update someday. Somehow. Seriously, though, I will. Um, so, yeah, like, hair. I have a series that I want to do on chainmail. I want to make some actual, like, video videos that aren't instructional, they're more like, ooh, look at this, it's cool, but until then, I decided I'm going to grow a pair and start throwing videos out onto my YouTube channel, so this is that happening. You can see I'm wearing this thing, uh, it's called a safety vest, it's very safe, I'm wearing this because I work in construction as I'm waiting for uh, school to start next fall. Now, with construction comes some things like coworkers, dangerous situations, and stories. And I figured that since I'm not going to be able to share my coworkers on the internet, and I'm pretty sure nobody wants dangerous situations coming out of their computer, I'm going to share stories. So this is going to be the first in my construction stories. That's what it's going to be called. Construction stories. Millionaire. So, here's the first one. And these are all real, actually. Like, these happen to me. And because I work in construction, I work like 10, 12 hour shifts. And I work nights as well. Right now it's 2.37 a.m. And that means I don't really have a lot of people to talk to, which is really sad, so let's all cry. But I figured I'd just talk to you guys. So I have a lot of stories, because I've been working for like two months now, but I've just now decided to do this, so I'm going to start now. So. So I'm in the lunchroom. I'm an apprentice. Apprentices are apprentices. They're not journeymen. Journeymen are like a higher skill. I'll talk about that sometime. I'm in the lunchroom. Okay. I'm sitting there like on my phone because I had already eaten my lunch. And I'm just chilling there enjoying my last minutes of warmth and coziness and dryness before venturing out into the cold, wet world of construction. And there, there's a microwave to my right. And so I'm sitting there. And people are going by, back and forth, microwave and stuff, going back. And it's, it's cool. I'm just sitting there. I've got my, got my stuff together. I'm just, eh, eh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this uh, lady, her name, I can't decide whether I want to say names, but I'm going to do it anyways. Her name is Amber. And she, like, brought this bowl of soup, like a glass bowl of soup, because she just... That's her thing. That's what she does. That's what she likes for lunch. I hate soup. I hate it with a passion. You need to know this. This is crucial to the story. So, she takes this soup, and she microwaves it. And, okay, yeah. She's friggin' five minutes nuked that thing. Go for it. No? Well, yeah. Do your thing. You do you. And so, she gets up, and comes over, opens it up, 
and grabs the soup. Uh, it's like this glass bowl with a plastic lid on the top, and she grabs it by the top, and she picks it up, and she st starts bringing it over to her, and it went, and just like everywhere, soup just all over the place. And so that, in and of itself, is pretty bad. You know, you're like, well, crap, there's soup everywhere. We live here. Ah. But the worst part is that you take your hard hat, which is crucial to your safety, and your glasses and your gloves off when you eat food, because otherwise you'd be eating very, very dirty things. And so I take mine off and set them down on the floor next to me, throw my gloves in there, throw my glasses in there, and sh as she's taking it out and it dumps out, like the majority of it falls straight into my hard hat. So I'm just like, ah, what? Oh, and so I pick it up, and it, I hate soup, okay? I just hate soup. And my hard hat is like filled with this soup, but it was like this weird like bean chicken pursue something. Everybody called it chicken piss, just because it sounds like that, but this weird stuff, and it just straight up looks like vomit. So, like, that's pretty gross. And so all these other guys are like, hey, what, what happened? Oh, oh, and I'm like, oh, oh, everyone's like, oh, and then she's like, oh, sorry, 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 and starts, so like, trying to clean up. So, <laughs> I hate soup. And she, no, I, so I take my helmet, and I'm like, you know, whatever, this is funny. She, like, verbally loses me, abuses me all the time. And so, like, I I was kind of enjoying the fact that she spilled her soup, but I'm sorry. But, like, one of the other guys gave her his sandwich, and so it, it was okay. But <laughs> I just have all this soup in my hard hat now, and it made me think of Dr. Seuss, you know, like soap on a rope, but instead it's soup in a hat. And I thought it was funny, but... Whatever. Anyways, I go over, uh, water cooler, clean it out, put some water in it, swish it around, kick it out, and then, like, just sit there for the next 20 minutes scrubbing at it with a rag. <laughs> and for the rest of the night, I was wearing my hard hat to keep rain off of me, clearly, and I would just see these drips of soup, like, coming down like dropping onto my face and onto my clothes and it was the worst I hate soup moral of the story is I hate soup <sighs> alright that was tonight's story I will have more I'm gonna do this daily because such ridiculous stuff happens at construction job work that I have night shift whatever but yeah um I'm going to slowly try and get better at my storytelling. Hopefully I will be able to grab you with my iron grasp of wordage. But until that time, uh, I'm going to go take a shower. And yes, this is going to be one of those things where I get up and go turn off the camera because I'm uploading from my phone. So, anyways, I hope you have a wonderful night. I'm tired. I'm going to go take a shower. Good night.